Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you some of the perfumes I have been absolutely loving over the last two to three weeks and a lot of these perfumes are quite fresh and citrusy which I think is a testament to the warm beautiful sunny weather we've been having so I am definitely in the mood for citrusy fresh scents. I also wanted to share with you one of the most beautiful body lotions I've ever used and it smells incredible. If this is your first time on my channel thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Alithia and on this channel we do talk mostly about perfume so if you like that sort of thing make sure to head on down and hit the subscribe button and feel free to head on over and follow me on Instagram as well if you like perfume related content, motivation for decluttering and minimalism, a little bit of home decor, scents of the day, outfits of the day and without further ado let's get started. Okay guys so good evening as you can see I am sipping on a cup of tea here in one of my beautiful antique style cups that I love to have tea from sometimes in the evening if I'm relaxing and I just want to apologize in advance if you hear children screaming it is because um, there's kids literally playing right outside my window so they're a little bit noisy but I do want to get a video out for you guys for the weekend so we're just gonna have to grin and bear it so if you hear children screaming that is why okay you guys so before we get into the perfumes I want to share with you guys something that I don't think I've ever shared on this channel before maybe a handful of times and that is a beautifully scented body lotion so I love this body lotion not only for how hydrating it is but also the scent of this lotion is to die for so I thought it was really fitting for today's video so this is the Laura Mercier almond coconut body cream and this is a little bit of a pricier uh, body cream if you've ever seen it or if you've purchased it before or seen it on the website you know that it is a little bit of a splurge and I bought this when I received a gift card to Sephora and I thought you know I never splurge on body cream or lotions I usually go for whatever is affordable and hydrating but I usually don't splurge on like luxury lotions and since I've gotten this I have been obsessed and I'm so glad I got it because I think it's really important to treat yourself and sort of pamper yourself sometimes if you guys are interested in seeing a shower routine with some of my favorite shower care and body care products let me know down below and I would be happy to do that for you because I have a few other products that are amazing as well so this lotion you guys smells like almond and coconut it almost has a little bit of a milky quality to it it has some vanilla and some heliotrope and musk so it's very almondy and vanilla y and I would say it's a really nicely blended almond coconut lotion because it doesn't smell overly coconutty so this is the consistency of the lotion and you guys I've been using it very sparingly because I want it to last a long time because it was so pricey oh my goodness you guys this smells so good this smells like almost like an almond coconut vanilla biscotti it smells good enough to eat this is probably the best smelling body lotion I've ever used in my life. The beautiful thing about this lotion is that it works really well layered with other perfumes. So if you use this as a base, not only is it gonna help your perfumes last longer, but it's a really nice sort of a vanilla scented base to pair with a lot of your perfumes. And this lotion lasts all day on my skin. It makes my skin so soft and I can smell it all throughout the night or all day long whenever I choose to put it on. If you wear it to bed, your linens will smell like almond and coconut so it's really really nice and I absolutely love it I will have this linked down below if you guys are interested in trying it if you really want to treat yourself and you're looking for an amazing lotion I definitely recommend checking this one out so moving on to perfumes the first perfume I've been wearing a lot of for the last few weeks is Gabriel Essence from Chanel so if you guys follow me on Instagram you would have seen that I have been bringing this with me everywhere I go if I leave town for a couple of days on the weekend I have been bringing this I have just been absolutely in love with this perfume this is probably my new favorite Chanel or one of my new favorite Chanel's I don't know if it really replaces Chanel chance you guys know how much I love that one but this one is definitely up there so the notes that you have in here are citruses peach red fruits black currant and pedigree in the middle you have white flowers tuberose ylang ylang jasmine orange blossom and coconut and in the base you have musk vanilla and sandalwood and you can see how how much of a dent I've already put in this bottle and this is just over the last month or so so considering I have quite a large collection this is a pretty good sized dent and what this smells like to me you guys is just a really beautiful sort of a mature take on a fruity citrusy floral 
floral fragrance. I think this is a perfect balance of a mature Chanel perfume, but with that young fruity quality as well. It smells so classy. This isn't a complete beast mode perfume. It does last for quite a while though. The bottle is also beautiful. I love the Chanel bottles. Chanel is probably my favorite perfume house. Mm, you guys, this is so pretty. This is like, I think this is going to be honestly my perfume of the summer because I just, I can't stop wearing it. I just think it is so beautiful. It fits every occasion. I've worn this to little get togethers with close friends. I've worn this for weekend getaways. I've worn this for like day dates. It's just that classy, sophisticated perfume. I also get compliments on this one. My boyfriend really likes it on me. It's just a really beautiful, citrusy, fruity perfume for the summertime, and I definitely recommend checking it out if you're looking for a really classy, fresh fragrance for the summertime. Okay, the next one I want to talk to you guys about is by Rado Gypsy Water. Now, this one is not actually one that I've been wearing a lot of over the last couple of weeks. I just got this one, and I've been kind of trying it out, and I am on the fence about this one. So if you guys have this perfume, or it, if it took a while to grow on you, please let me know down below what your experience was with Gypsy water I'm always interested to know because it's such a popular perfume and so many people have it as a holy grail perfume and I'm just kind of undecided if it's gonna work for me or not so the notes that you have in Byredo Gypsy Water are juniper, lemon, bergamot, and pepper in the opening. In the mid, you have pine needles, incense, and orris root. And in the base, you have sandalwood, vanilla, and amber. So as you guys know, I love the Byredo bottles. And I've been telling you, I've been on the search for that perfect Byredo for me, the Byredo that will fit in my collection and that I will continue to wear for a long time because I've always really wanted a Byredo perfume. So this one actually was a blind purchase. I have smelt it before. I had smelled a sample and I was kind of I didn't really think I liked it but I wanted to give it a chance because so many people like I say have it on their top 10 for life and I just thought you know there has to be something that I'm missing with this there has to be something that I'll discover once I start wearing it so so this is a really unique fragrance. If you've ever smelt it, you know, but it has a very piney, sort of a foresty, earthy feel to it. It definitely smells like you are walking through a sort of a beautiful pine forest, but it also has a little bit of a vanilla dry down and it's very fresh, very unisex. Um, performance with this, I don't find it to be too bad, to be honest. The times I've worn this, I've been able to pick it up and smell it on myself. I just, I'm not sure I'm in love with the Siage. I'm not sure I'm in love with like the waft that I get coming through the air. I don't know you guys. I want to love it. Maybe I need to layer it with a vanilla. I'm not really sure because I don't get a ton of that vanilla coming out on my skin. It does stay very piney and very earthy and woody on me. So yeah, this one I'm still sort of on the fence about. I really like I don't know if I'm gonna like it because as I pick it up on myself, it sort of annoys me a little bit. It sort of bothers my nose. So I think that's a pretty good indication that it might not be the right perfume for me. So that is Gypsy Water from Byredo. Not 100% on this one. So I have been sort of trying it out, but I can't say it's a love. So yeah, please let me know your thoughts about Gypsy Water down below and any tips or tricks and should I give it some more time or... The next perfume that I have been wearing a lot, especially over the last week or two, is the Kaeli Citrus 08. So I've talked about this perfume quite a few times, you guys, and this is such an underdog of a perfume. This perfume is not hyped up. I don't really hear people talking about this one and I don't know why because it's absolutely beautiful. So this is a citrus perfume, but this is actually more of a rose perfume than anything. You have a lot of pink grapefruit in here. I love pink grapefruit because it's so bright and happy and bubbly. There's also actually rhubarb in here, so there is a little bit of a tartness to it, almost like a sourness. And then there's a lot of moss and oak moss and rose. So you guys, this is a beautiful, classy, sophisticated, luxurious smelling citrus. I absolutely love it. I used to love just coming up to it and smelling it at the atomizer, but I wasn't really wearing it a whole lot. I was kind of waiting for like the right time or situation because I did feel like it smelled very luxurious and I didn't just want to wear it any old day. However, I did wear it for a few days um, when we had some particularly warm weather and I wore it with a beautiful yellow sundress and you guys, this just went so perfectly. I felt like a million bucks wearing this perfume and it actually lasted a really long time. I oversprayed this perfume because I was worried it wasn't going to last and I realized I really didn't need to because this hangs around in clothing for a really long time and the dry down, especially on clothing, when you pick it up and you smell it, 
It has this really sophisticated, unique scent. It smells like a woman who was wearing a expensive, fresh summertime perfume. And it's just so classy and it makes you feel so clean and so beautiful and it's just effortless. It's an effortless kind of an elegant citrus scent. So I wouldn't say blind buy it because I wouldn't, I don't ever recommend that you guys blind buy, but if you have a chance to get the sampler set or you can smell it in store, I recommend checking this one out. If you really like pink grapefruit, if you like rhubarb, if you like rose, oak moss, you might really like this one. And I just absolutely love it, you guys. So I can't get enough of this one lately. I think we've been having such beautiful hot weather. It's just been like that perfect perfume to wear for hot weather. Okay, and the last perfume that I've been wearing recently that has actually grown on me, and I think I'm actually loving this perfume, I think I'm in love with it, is Sundays from Byredo. So this one was actually a blind buy for me a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, and I got it because the notes looked really beautiful, it got really good reviews, and I was also kind of on the hunt for that perfect Byredo for myself. The main notes that are in here are orange, lemon, cotton candy, and neroli. And there's also a little bit of musk in here as well. And when I first smelt this perfume, I was underwhelmed to say the least. I wasn't sure what I was expecting, but I just got a lot of orange, not a lot of cotton candy. I kind of felt like it was a orangey, lemony, soapy, perfume. Like I just didn't feel there was much to it. I wasn't really wowed by it. I didn't particularly love it. And I wore it for a couple of days and I wasn't really wowed by it. Actually halfway throughout the day, I did end up switching over to a different perfume because I just wasn't getting enough from this one. I wasn't getting what I wanted from it. And actually now that I've worn it over the course of that weekend, and it was a beautiful weekend, we had really nice weather, I was just spending some time with one of my favorite people and I have some really nice memories attached to this perfume. And now whenever I smell it, it reminds me of those beautiful, warm, sunny days wearing, you know, a nice summery outfit and going for a lovely dinner. It just has really nice weekend vibes for me attached to it now. So now that I have those beautiful memories, I think the perfume is more special to me. The more I smell this one, the more I really like it. It's one that's growing on me. Every time I come back and smell it, I appreciate it a little bit more and a little bit more. And I actually really, really like it, you guys. So I'm just gonna take the lid off here and refresh my nose again. One thing I love about the Byredo bottles is they do have the magnetized cap. And of course, I love the minimalistic look of the bottles as well. This is that perfume that I never even knew existed. I didn't even give much thought to it. I was always thinking about the popular ones like Rose of No Man's Land, and Mojave Ghost, Balda Freak, like all of those popular gypsy water, all of those perfumes that people talk about. I never hear people talk about Sundays but I actually really like it. It has this like bright, happy, bubbly, effervescent orange, and I really get a lot of neroli too. And the dry down for this is very pretty, very soft, very subtle. Again, it's not a sexy perfume. It's not a perfume I would use to wear for a date. It's just a really nice, like hot summer day, happy perfume. Yeah, and it has just really nice memories. It makes me smile, you guys. Like, this is a perfume that just makes me happy now to smell it. So I can smell it on myself all day, and if I spray heavy, I can smell it even into the next day. So it is, you know, I think it's pretty good quality, and um, yeah, it's just such a, it's such a happy, honestly, this makes me happy. This perfume is really like happiness for me. So that is Byredo Sundazed really like that one. I've been wearing it a lot. I already have a dent, so I need to slow down on it because that's an expensive 50 ml bottle right here. So you guys, those are basically the products I wanted to share with you that I've kind of been obsessing over with the exception of the Gypsy Water, which I'm still sort of on the fence about. Um, but just to quickly recap, we have the Kali Citrus, which is a really nice oak mossy, grapefruity, very sophisticated scent for the summer. It smells really ladylike. We have the beautiful Laura Mercier Almond Coconut Body cream which lasts all day and makes a great layering scent and feels extremely luxurious. We have the Gabriel Essence from Chanel which is a very classy mature fruity scent and I think it's my new favorite Chanel. And we have the Byredo Sundays which is that beautiful upbeat happy effervescent orangey neroli and I really love it. And then the Gypsy Water, I'm still kind of not really sure what I'm doing with Gypsy Water so please let me know your thoughts below. Should I give it another chance or is there another Byredo that you would recommend in its place. 
So that was it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed hearing about these fragrances. Please let me know down below your thoughts on these perfumes, if you've tried them before, if you haven't, if you're interested in them. And I will see you guys all very soon in my next video. Bye for now.